enough to accommodate luggage. Number two, make sure you know the client's departing and arriving airline and flight numbers. Number three, don't make a special arrangement with a client arriving at the airport unless your supervisor is aware of the arrangement and local regulations allow it. Number four, bring the client's luggage onto the front steps or into the home depending on company policy and your client's preference. Number five, assist the bride in getting into and out of the limousine. Number six, be wary of allowing the wedding party to decorate or otherwise damage the vehicle. Number seven, today's prom goer could well be tomorrow's valued adult client. Number eight, collect all wedding and prom fees up front, preferably before you even arrive for the pickup. Number nine, be especially careful to keep all details of any VIP or celebrity trip confidential. Number 10, do not carry a firearm unless licensed to do so and your supervisor permits it. Number 11, notify your office immediately if the client, celebrity, or VIP engages in any illegal activity. One of your most important jobs as a professional chauffeur is the smooth operation of your vehicle. Sudden stops, quick lane changes, any erratic driving are strictly forbidden. Your passenger should be able to drink a glass of champagne in the back of your vehicle without difficulty. This means gliding to a stop. It means careful and measured acceleration and handling of the vehicle. Remember, a stretch limousine is twice the weight of a standard sedan. The brakes are basically the same in both vehicles. This means that the chauffeur has to be especially careful at all times. Here are some important safety tips to keep in mind. Drive at the speed limit. An increase in speed of 15 miles per hour over the limit only saves you 11 minutes in a 100 mile trip. Your risk of injury increases three times faster than your speed. It just doesn't pay to speed. Never tailgate. You are driving an extremely heavy vehicle. Give yourself extra room to stop. Do not talk and drive. One of the most dangerous habits of the modern driver is cell phone use. It's dangerous, distracting, and it contributes to accidents. If you must talk, pull over. Eliminate distractions. Loud music, unnecessary conversation on your radio, all contribute to accidents. Get plenty of rest. Tired drivers cause more than three times as many accidents as drunk drivers. Let your employer know what your schedule is on your full-time job. If you absolutely are too tired to drive, call your supervisor. In addition to these items, you would be very wise to follow these basic defensive driving tactics. The core elements of the system are, number one, space. Be aware of your vehicle's position and leave extra space to make you less vulnerable. Number two, visibility. Steer clear of blind spots. Make a conscious effort to be visible to your fellow drivers. Number three, time. Be alert and conservative to react to the changes around you. Number four, aim high in steering. Look into the future. You should scan six seconds ahead at low speed and 15 seconds ahead at highway speed. Number five, get the big picture. Check your mirrors frequently. You need to be aware of what's going on around you. Number six, keep your eyes moving. Peripheral vision helps you scan for movement, but you must move your eyes to focus momentarily on everything. 
Number seven, leave yourself an out. Maintain a two to four second following distance. You may need this space and cushion as an escape path. Number eight, make sure that they see you. Make eye contact with other drivers and pedestrians. Number nine, avoid putting yourself in a position that requires you to back up. Be respectful and completely aware of weather conditions. The weather plays a big role in your ability to control your vehicle. Bright sun can cause blinding glare and can seriously affect your night driving. Make sure you have quality sunglasses at all times. When it's raining or foggy, take your time and allow plenty of extra following distance. Snow and ice are a fact of life in many areas of the country. Remember, take your foot off the brake and gently steer your way out of trouble. You will be working on many trips that involve multiple vehicles from your company. These trips range from airport pickups to weddings to nights on the town. One shofar will be designated as the lead shofar for purposes of the multi-vehicle charter. Listen to the lead shofar and make sure your communication devices are in order. Your goal is to keep the vehicles together and serve your clients in the most efficient way possible. The lead shofar is responsible to collect the fare and decide how and when the group should move. Unfortunately, accidents happen. If you are involved in an accident, call 911 and your office immediately. Keep your passengers calm. Make sure you pull the vehicle to a safe spot and you tend to your other passengers' needs. If other vehicles are involved, make sure their passengers are okay. If you have a camera in your vehicle, take pictures at the scene. Do not give a statement to anyone at the scene. Call your supervisor and follow their instructions carefully. Many companies require the shofar to submit to immediate drug testing after an accident. This is for your protection. Let's review what we learned in Chapter 5. Number 1. Drive at the speed limit and obey all traffic laws. Number 2. Never tailgate. You are driving a heavy vehicle that can be slower to stop. Number 3. Do not talk on the cell phone and drive. Number four, get plenty of rest. Tired drivers cause more than three times as many accidents as drunk drivers. Number five, aim high in steering, check your mirrors frequently, and keep your eyes moving. Number seven, Avoid putting yourself in a position that requires you to back up your vehicle. One of the unusual aspects of your job as a professional chauffeur involves the hurry up and wait nature of your employment. There is an awful lot of downtime and time spent waiting at airports, restaurants, hotels, and any number of places. Chauffeurs talk. Many times their conversations focus on clients, coworkers, and the company you work for. The long-term professional chauffeur learns to keep this type of conversation to a minimum. Talk about a movie you've seen, the local sports team, or any number of non-controversial topics. If you want information on your company or pertinent to your job, get it from your supervisor or the owner of your company. Active participants in the chauffeur grapevine are a problem for everyone concerned.
A limousine company is a complicated entity. It involves numerous behind the scenes people doing their jobs. It involves the detail person keeping the vehicles clean. It involves clear voice pleasant reservationists. It involves dispatching vehicles in the most expedient way possible. It involves an efficient back office and accounting department. No one job is more important than the other. It's critically important for the professional chauffeur to understand that he or she is an important part of a team. Be pleasant and professional to your coworkers at all times. Respect the fact that the chauffeur transportation business can be stressful for all of us. Avoid the office grapevine at all costs. More than likely, the most profitable work that your company does is as directed charters. These trips involve multiple stops and can range from three hours to more than 10 hours. These charters are often a special occasion for your client and a memorable celebration for everyone in the vehicle. If the professional chauffeur knows the city, he or she can extend the client's good time. Suggestions such as where they can go dancing, breathtaking views of your city, well-known landmarks, or even a full-service restaurant at 1 a.m. can extend the charter. Remember, you first must be sure that the vehicle you're driving is available and the customer is able to pay the additional charges. The more you know about your city, the more valuable you'll be to both your employer and your clients. Pick up a copy of your city magazine and keep it with you at all times. Assigning the best possible chauffeur to each trip is the goal of every dispatcher. This means that certain chauffeurs are specifically assigned to specific trips. Although it may seem unfair, the dispatcher or owner is always looking for the correct chauffeur for each trip. Let me give you an example. A veteran chauffeur for a busy company may receive an assignment to drive a high roller for a long charter. At the last minute, a key business client may need airport transportation. The dispatcher makes a quick decision to switch assignments and send the veteran chauffeur to the airport. While this seems unfair, it's the best decision for the client and for the overall good of the limousine company. Ultimately, with the tools you have learned throughout this video series, you will be that experienced chauffeur. The executive coming to the airport may represent a client who spends tens of thousands of dollars with your company. The dispatcher does not want to jeopardize the account by assigning an inexperienced chauffeur. Never forget to look at the big picture. The around town client is very important without question, and he or she could develop into a regular client. But right now, in this instant, the regular client must be accommodated with the best most experienced chauffeur. Let's look at another situation that veteran chauffeurs often complain about. This situation involves trips received by part-time chauffeurs. Many veterans believe that part-time chauffeurs should receive a choice assignment such as an as-directed charter only when there's no full-timer available to do the run. This system does not work and will certainly result in lost revenue and angry clients. There are very few companies that can cover every trip with a veteran chauffeur. Full-timers take days off, they sleep in, and because of the way the work comes in, you need these part-timers to supplement your staff. To keep part-time chauffeurs interested, they need to get some choice assignments. Part-time chauffeurs give the company the flexibility to handle larger percentages of the reservations that come in. Remember, Clients who hear not available on a consistent basis from their company of choice will find another provider. Saying yes 95% of the time may not be good enough for an important client. In fact, many cases you will lose a corporate account if you refuse 5% of requested reservations. Part-time chauffeurs give operators flexibility. And new chauffeurs whose only assignment is sedan airport pickups will often become discouraged and leave. So that's why it's important to give the part-timers some choice assignments. The 
goal of every show for is to develop a regular clientele. It feels good to get client requests and you probably will receive larger gratuities. Regular clients develop a relationship based on comfort and trust with their regular show fire. Most companies will try and accommodate their client's preference for a designated show fire. Many times it isn't practical to give the client a specific show fire for every single trip. Even the most diligent employee needs a day off or has a scheduling conflict. Never badmouth your fellow chauffeurs or the company you work for. Tell your client that you would prefer driving him on every trip, but since this is impractical, you highly recommend your fellow professionals. Document every particular aspect of the service you deliver to your regular client. If the client has a standing request for a bottle of Evian water and a Wall Street Journal, Note it on the trip sheet or your fellow chauffeur will look like a slacker if he's called on to serve that client. Carefully documenting everything will allow your company to properly service your client in cases when you are not available. Be careful. Familiarity can produce contempt. The more time you spend with a client and the more information that is shared, the more likely a potential problem can occur. Be careful and maintain a respectful distance with the paying customer. If you are driving a stretch and an uncomfortable topic is raised, politely tell your clients that you are putting the privacy divider up. Always be on guard and resist the urge to cross the line from hardworking professional to your client's friend or contemporary. Stay out of it. You are not a passenger on the trip. You are a professional being paid to perform a professional service. Here are the facts of life for more than 60% of limousine companies nationwide. Limousine companies cannot survive strictly on doing their local trips for their local customers. Local companies rely on national limousine networks, such as Cary International or Boston Coach, for trips in their local market. Joe's Limousine may represent Empire International in Omaha, Nebraska. The chauffeur will be asked to hold up the Empire sign and have the Empire trip ticket signed by the backseat passenger. And as far as the customer is concerned, you represent Empire in Omaha. Remember, your company relies heavily on these network assignments. Give your passenger the same VIP treatment you give all of your clients. Be patient if the Concord representative is calling you on your Nextel. And for goodness sake, do not try and steal the network's client. Bad things happen to the best chauffeurs and the best limousine companies. Chauffeurs miss turns, they misread run sheets, and they are generally human. Good clients will understand and sometimes forgive your transgressions, but what they will not forgive is being lied to. If you are running late or you're not where you're supposed to be, give the clients and your office a heads up immediately. Do not tell them there's a tie-up on the Van Wyck Expressway when a 15-second internet search will give them a clear camera shot of the roadway. Do not tell them you had a flat tire when you didn't have one. It makes you look bad and it damages the reputation and good name of your company. When a mistake or problem occurs, focus on the solution and the future. Mr. Johnson, I'm very sorry for the breakdown. We have a replacement vehicle on the way and it will be here shortly. The calmer you are, the calmer your passengers will be. Let's review what you have learned in Chapter 6. Number 1. Document every aspect of the service you deliver to your regular client. This allows your company to serve him better in the future. Number 2. Network business from other limousine companies is a big part of many operators' business. Give network clients the same professional service that your regular clients receive. Number three, do not solicit a network client to work directly with you. Number four, when a mistake or problem occurs, focus on the solution and the future. Find ways to work within your system to solve problems.
Congratulations, you have completed the Ultimate Shofar video training program. You have now been taught the skills that will make you a valuable member of a busy limousine company. You have an important job and a wealth of responsibilities. You will be the person handling the most important business leaders in your community. You will be behind the wheel when VIPs, entertainers, and professional athletes visit your community. Most importantly, you will be there for many of life's special moments, from wedding days to baby's first ride home, from important business meetings to a young person's senior prom to an executive's last day on the job. You will be there. It's a great business. I love it. Enjoy yourself.